The News at 6 on RTV6. Good evening, I'm Chris Prophet. We begin here at 6 o'clock, and there are no college basketball games today, but as the teams rest up during the Final Four, the party continues for fans. From Monument Circle to White River State Park, there's a mile of entertainment, and RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet kicks our coverage off live at the music festival for us tonight. Ebony? Chris, it is a family atmosphere out here today, and it's actually possibly the biggest of the three-day music festival. The third and final day has brought out a lot of families. You can see they're having a great time. Many people have their blankets laid out and enjoying the time. We're seeing lots of children here hanging out with their parents, waiting for the next act, which is Lady Antebellum, and the fun that's being had here is not the only fun going on in downtown Indianapolis. It's very busy downtown. In fact, especially in places like Georgia Street, their fans are enjoying enjoying a beer garden. They're also enjoying music from a DJ as well as prizes and giveaways. And then when you go down to Monument Circle, you actually see people waiting in line to take a picture with the Final Four behind them, the statue in the Final Four. So lots of fun being had all around. And I would say, based upon my unofficial estimation, the crowd here may be larger than yesterday. And we're seeing definitely more children and more families here. And the fire marshal is also here making sure that this area, this concert area here at the White River State Park doesn't reach capacity, but it definitely has filled in earlier tonight, and that's possibly because of some of the big acts yet to perform. The next act that's going to hit the stage is once again Lady Antebellum, and this area here holds about 7,000 people, and a lot of people are already here having their spot in the grass to make sure they can enjoy the show. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6. All right.